congratulations. This is such an amazing party. How do you feel tonight? I feel very excited. I feel accomplished. I feel good. Yeah. Yeah. I think you should. So tell us a little bit about this album. What is going to be different about this album rather than the other ones that you've put out? So the album is called LA and like it's one of our songs that we lately shot a music video to. And then like what can LA mean? Because LA, like everybody knows LA is Los Angeles, but we wanted to like give it more sense because for us LA is more than just a city, you know? Um, and if to talk about the song, it's about a relationship with the city, as if the city is the man I love. <laughs> Speaking of the creative process, um, the Gala Network is a non-for-profit that basically focuses on the creativity of everybody and saying that everybody has creative side. How do you how important is that for people to realize that you know they are creative no matter what they think? You know, I've seen a lot of people who um, or like young kids that have a lot of talent and they don't spend enough time on working on their talent, on developing their talent. And then even if they have that, they are scared to show it off and showcase to everybody and share it with everyone. So I think for people who have talent, who are young, ambitious, they gotta do it. And the faster they do it, the earlier they start, the better. Because it's a long journey, it takes a lot of, you know, acquaintances, connections, and yeah, and it's it's important to like to stay on top of it and you know focus and you know do their own thing. Yeah. Is that your advice to them? You being in the industry for a little bit longer, do you think that that's what they need to do? Is just stay focused and stay into it? You know what? If they really love it, they have no other choice. I'm pretty good. I am with the multi-talented young Ivy here. Your name is on the marquee. How does that feel? Feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. It's my first performance actually tonight. I'm pretty excited for it. And um, what can we expect from your performance tonight? Just uh, I would say like a good show of lyrics, yeah. lyricism, a nice beat, trap beat. And yeah, just hip hop. And, and for those who don't know your music, uh, can you explain it to them? I could, yeah. I'm more of a. I like to bring lyrical like ability to the table when I rap. And yeah, I've just been rapping since I was nine. And yeah. And what inspired you to start rapping and, and being in the music industry? I would say like when I first started, I listened to like uh, maybe like Eminem. Yeah, he's a good inspiration. And then like I got into Kendrick Lamar when he came around. Uh, and then, yeah. And uh, what do you uh, what do you hope is next for you in your career? Uh, I'm just trying to get signed. <laughs> I'm just trying to rap. Yeah. I think that'll happen. You're, you're young enough. And, and what is that message? Uh, positivity. It's just like, I mean, it's like basic message, but uh, nowadays people like to drive off of negativity and it's bad. Especially nowadays, it's harder for you know people your age with all the social media and the bullying and stuff. Is that something that you hope to kind of help with your message? Uh, yeah, because most, most artists nowadays like, they just like to joke around and mess around, but they like to bring something else to rap. Hey, 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 yeah, hey, yeah, hey. Yeah, you think you sussing on it, but you know you really not. In the real world, you bugging shot. In the real world, you bugging pop. You feel how she gon' explode? I don't even need a flex on. I don't even need a flex. No, yeah. This is more just a spiritual battle. I was placed upon a raft and I had to learn just how to paddle. It just brought me like a saddle. Cross subtraction, I add a plus. Money stacks when I add it up. Homie, you saying too much, but you do it too little. She pop a beat and she caught in the skin of my face.
So the person putting this on is Generation Y Network. It is a non-for-profit that uh, believes that everyone has a creative side, especially millennials, and it's kind of out there to help the young kids get out there. Do you have any advice for people kind of starting out in the industry about what you would say to them? Yeah, you know, be yourself. Be yourself. You know, when I first came out here in Los Angeles, this was sometime in 1974. I was in the parking lot in in, uh, in Beverly Hills, and Fred Astaire was coming out of his car. And I said, Fred, tell me something. I've watched you all these years. Tell me, what's your secret? And he said to me, oh, you know, he said, he said it's so long ago I forgot. And then he said, just be yourself. And then, you know, and I, that's so important. So when I get a script, I say to, I say to myself, I said, Robert, how would it be for me given these circumstances? You know, so so you you personalize everything, so you share who you are, you know, and and and, and I and I tend not to use a plan, you know, discover it as I'm doing it. So, That's amazing. You know, so you're out of your head, into your heart, and all that. And you were perfect. Thank yeah. you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for stopping by. you guys and why you guys are at this super fun event oh my gosh well first of all I'm Ken Gray this is my husband Corey hey. it's a pleasure and um, we all, we love the gen gym events like uh, Mila always does such an amazing job and she always asks us to come and help her host them and we're always here we're always gonna be here so you can't get rid of us and we might come a little bit extra I mean I don't think it's extra at all tell me a little bit about this outfit going on well uh, most of what we're wearing tonight is actually Philip Klein Hey, turn it. Our absolute favorite. Hi, ladies, how are you? Thanks for stopping by today. Why did you guys want to be a part of the Stereo Lisa album release party? Well, we were invited, and it sounded like a great event, and we love music, so uh, we've been to the Grammys probably six times, so we're music lovers. Love to meet new people and go out and see what's going on and be a part of things, so we're proud to be a part of it. And tell me a little bit about yourselves. Are you guys um, actresses, singers? We are. We own Elite Connections International Matchmaking Agency, so we're international matchmakers. We help people find love all over the country. <laughs> Do you have any advice for those people struggling in LA? Uh, have a more open mind, get off your phones, go out and meet people. Events like this where you can actually uh, meet people face to face and make a connection. So Generation Y is the nonprofit company that's putting on this whole event, and they believe that you know, millennials, everybody has a creative side, but especially millennials. And they're out here to kind of try to help them achieve their their most creativeness. And why do you think that's important for young people to kind of express themselves creatively? You know, I, I think it's amazing to be able to have the opportunity to play for people that wouldn't normally get to hear you and exposure and, you know, just get out there more than you would.
Look, look, look.